Okay, yay, we're back. It's been a while since um, I played and we had a little break, so excited to get back into the game and finally figure out what's gonna happen with these three um, characters. So, um, let's just jump right in. Yeah, that was just a little fun appreciation dance for the intro song. Okay, let's continue. Don't forget that ever happened. All right, so here we go. All right, so we played for a little over three hours. We have a lot of gold, and we're going to jump into Story Act 2. <laughs> Counts how many kisses I've given or received. Don't know, but it's there. Seven. All right, so what do we do? What is it that we're doing? All right, so quest log, Leon Magic. Some spell books would definitely come in handy. Leon Magic is open now. Head on over and peruse their spell books. Okay, which is something I kind of thought we were gonna do, but it's a good thing that we're double checking. Um, let's Let's go. Okay, I want to say hi, hi to this um, grumpy Bartholomew <laughs> old cat. Have you been to the magic shop yet? You should go to the magic shop and give my daughter a lot of money. <laughs> she needs to save so that my grandbaby can kick off her career in villainy the right way once she's older. With a nice lair and everything. I don't know if this was the same dialogue I got when we first talked to them, but we're doing it again i'm sure that's more important than trading cards or whatever it is kids like you waste their money on we're in our 20s mr leon we have bills say it girl but let's do let's do the magic shop we should go talk to claire at the library oh oh okay which is up here nope there oh, okay Oh, I forgot. Claire's this buff looking thing. Sorry, I'm a little busy. Oh, that's Chet. Claire. Hello, Claire. Paladin Brigade HQ. No Claire here. Wait, this is the Guardian's Tower. I can't read. <laughs> this isn't the library. Hello, library. Is there a map? Why do I feel like I'm starting this game brand new and I don't know where I am or who I am or what am I doing here? <clears throat> There's the library. All right, here we go. Green Ridge Public Library. Hi, welcome to the... Oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, Mona's this mousy looking librarian. I like her. In spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in meeting room B almost non-stop since last night. If she gets another coffee stain on the table in there, I swear to God. Okay, thank you, Mona. Very particular, Mona. Got no business back there. Okay. Oh, I don't remember where things are, game. Oh, yeah, she said B. Now it's all coming back to me just two seconds ago. I swear, I'm a goldfish. My memory is... What did I just say? Anyways, hello, Claire. What did you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the whiteboard? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, that videotape guy. What about him? Oh, come on. I know it's been on your minds too. I was kind of trying not to dwell on it, actually. Well, it's kind of hard for me not to dwell on it. <clears throat> so I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was that we saw yesterday. The way reality got all twisted and warped down there, I've never heard of anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal magic. Did you find anything? Admittedly, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I could find in the, in the public library. What about the internet? 
I think the library's uh, library Wi-Fi is down today or something, or maybe Mona kicked me off the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that the magic we saw yesterday is, is possible at that scale. Mm. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. This is a lot more than just spooky, Allison. Whoa, geez, are you okay, Claire? I'm fine. I mean, I'd say I'm doing remarkably well for someone who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Claire, maybe you should get a little rest. Now is not the time to rest, Melody. What if Jarvis comes back? What if next time he has a reason to use that magic on Greenridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped about finding that place yesterday. What's the change of heart? Look, uh, I love a good dungeon and I thought I could turn it into a teachable moment, but I don't want that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Jarvis guy is still pissed about how we wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly. We have no idea where he is, what he wants, or what he's planning on doing next. <clears throat> but if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. So what are we going to do about this? Tell Faith? No, I propose we do a little reconnaissance work. We find Jarvis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out a game plan when we have more intel. We could try putting him under citizen's arrest and hand him over to Faith for questioning, I guess. Is that an actual thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? I don't know, probably. Probably as in it's probably fine or it's probably kidnapping. Claire, didn't you just say we have no idea where Jarvis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wants to avoid being found. But he did specifically say he was interested in the Sapphire Islands. If he's still somewhere on the islands, then there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All of those places are out in the wilderness and filled with monsters, I'm assuming. They might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. You two already know about Jarvis and his monsters. You know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. That'll make this easier. And I mean, come on, I don't want to bother Faith just because we have a vague hunch that a stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. This seems like exactly the type of thing that warrants telling Faith, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventures, Allison. Trust me, I do, but this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great healer, but I don't think you're signed up for this guild thinking the fate of Greenridge would be on our shoulders one day on day two. <laughs> do I agree? Oh uh, yeah, this is a bit too much, or no, we've got to do this. Um, I mean, I kind of agree with Claire that we should investigate more before we turn or to Faith for more information. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be, no, we've got to do this. <clears throat> Whoa, what, really? I wasn't expecting you to be so gun ho about this, Mel. It's dangerous, but Claire's right. We made it through Jarvis Labyrinth yesterday just fine. If it's just to protect our town, I think I can handle doing that one more time. Besides, I don't want to make someone else risk their life dealing with Jarvis out there just because I'm a little scared. Spoken like a true paladin melody. Plus, we'll have uh, Jody with us this time. She's more than the tough enough to watch our backs out there if it gets a little hairy. Well, geez. <laughs> if you two are down for this, then let's get this show on the road. All right, then let's go get Jody. She wasn't at our place when I checked a little bit ago, which was weird, but she's probably just at the tower with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventure gear before we head out. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this is exciting. We're finally going on a real mission on a guild, as a guild. All right, so do we have all three? We have all three. Can I see this thing? No, no, oh. Official guild charter for the Novas, approved by Guardian Faith, Aid Vincent on April 12th, 1013. Founders, Claire, Jody, members, Alice and Melody. Oh, our little guild charter. Let's get out of here. I wonder if I can go, oh, I didn't, oh, Mona. Yeah. Uh-oh. Claire, can I have a word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously vanished from the magic section? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, sorry, I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe is at stake or something. You know how it is. Let's get out of here, guys. Hold it. I have something else to talk to you about as well. Oh, Claire, I've given some thought to your proposal. 
Wow, Claire proposed? I always thought the tension between you two was kinda... Allison, don't make me climb over this desk and strangle you. <laughs> Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she said she'd clear her crap out of the meeting room. Wow, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project, Mona? Claire's been collecting data on the monsters you guys have been fighting, and she wants me to help her compile it into a bestiary. Admittedly, monsters are kind of a fascinating fascination of mine. So assembling a bestiary intrigues me. I hope I'm saying that word right. Bestiary. Anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you've faced so far. Here's your copy. Oh, okay, bestiary. That's the only other way I can figure out how to pronounce it. Um, cool. From now on, you can receive bestiary entries after defeating monsters in battle. <laughs> I have my own copy of the book that's magically linked to yours, so I'll be writing monsters description as you add new entries. Do you get anything for completing it? Some kind of reward? You get a complete bestiary. Wow, thank you, Mona. This will be really helpful. Please, it's for a good cause. Freeing the library from Claire's dark influence. <laughs> The bestiary can now be viewed via the bestiary tab of the quest. I'm sorry if I'm saying that completely wrong. Oh, hey, they have a new volume of my favorite comic book series. I didn't realize the trade was out already. You mean the one about the robots? I'm surprised you're into that series, babe. Robots are cool. But I mean, it's really more about the relationships and the characters drama than them shooting each other with lasers. Also, some of the robots are dating and it's really cute. Um, there we go. That's why you like it. For the gay robots. <laughs> I mean, the gay robots are definitely a plus. I want to read about gay robots. Okay, bestiary. Where are you? No? Was he here? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Key items. Claire and Mona's Beach. Reviewable via the quest log. Oh. I've got a quest log. Here we go. Oh, okay, so... Fresh start, the part of the adventure has just been completed. Okay. Side quest. Maps. Treasure map number one. Oh. Okay, here are all the monsters we fought. Oh yeah, I remember. This is like one of the first few monsters we fought. Hoop snake. Meow shroom. Whole hound. <laughs> Dust bunny. Flaming Dust Bunny, Dust Bunny Sage, Rotto Mermaid, Dust Bunny. Rip in Space Time, Most of an Egg, Mobile Hull Hound, <laughs> Core, Gar Core Guardian, and Behemoth War is what we started with. Cool. All right. And then, okay, so this is Ongoing Quest, which is what we're doing. Main Story, Side Quests, Maps. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's leave and find Jody. Oh, God, but I want to get inside that Bartholomew's magic shop thing. Leon. Leon? Okay, yeah, we can go inside. <laughs> Hello? Pepper, did you want me to explain spell books? Yes, please. Spell books are special pieces of equipment that can teach you a whole set of new special abilities. As soon as you equip one, you can use all of the spells in the book right away. You don't have to worry about training or your level of experience or nothing. You just cast them as, lo as long as the book is equipped. Oh. Also, they're kind of heavy, so every party member can only equip one spell book at a time. Make sure you buy a lot of them. Okay. What can I do for you? Shop, talk, let's shop. Okay, let's see what you have. A thousand two hundred fifteen gold. Smashing. Let's buy. So inner beast, ferocious shape shifting based physical attacks teaches saber tooth chomp, berserker barrage, and fire breath. Okay. Spell blade imbued the party's weapons with elemental magic to take advantage of enemy weaknesses. Also teaches counter attack stance. All right. Alchemist use potions. As more than just potions, teaches potion explosion, potion plus, boulder, brew, brew and uh, alchemical awakening. I don't know what that is. 
Magical Girl, an exceptionally cute set of spells focused on multi-target healing, teaches lovely aura, magic aura, and resilient aura. Okay. I think this for sure can be mine or Melody's uh, spell. Let's get that. One. Ah, okay. Um... <sighs> I would probably, if I get this, I don't know what it really does. Okay, but this one's actually cool because it gives some really interesting things to the weapons. Mm. Should I give, I feel like, all right, so if I get two, uh, I'm trying to do math and it's hurting. Um, that's 500 total, so 965 minus 500. I'm like 300 something left. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, Inner Beast for Allison and then Spellblade for Claire. Let's do it. Oh, 465. Okay. My math was way off for the better. Okay. Um, I think we got what we wanted. Now let's make sure that we equip them. Melody. I need a spell book and magical girl for her. Okay. Um. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Let's go to Allison and Inner. No. Yeah, Inner Beast for Allison. <clears throat> and then Claire Spellblade. All right. Um, let's take a look at our items. Uh, how many do we have? We have 11 ether. We have one less of an egg that I still don't know what to do. And here a revival. We have two. And this is something that can revive the whole product. Or no. Restorative properties revives one KO'd friend. Okay, but we don't have any healing potion. So we have to figure out, um, access to buy that. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh no, oh no, okay. Let me out, let me out. Um, I'm curious to see what's in here. Ooh. Hello, I have a hello character. Fortune teller, and I help you today. Give me a hint. Free. Read my tarot. 100 gold, damn, that's expensive. Let's just see what it does with the free. If you'd like a hint, I would suggest checking my enchanted crystal ball. You know anything else? Don't be a stranger. Okay, let's check the get hint. I'd like some advice on what I should do next. Hmm, let me see. Yes, here we go. With my infinite power, the crystal ball reveals what you must do. You have friends in high places, literally. Perhaps you should visit Madam Guardian at the tower. Yeah, we kind of knew that already. Thanks, fortune teller person. Ooh, you're. Should you be out here? Molly, good morning. Headed out on another adventure, huh? Yep, we're just about stopping by Fate's office first to see if Jody's with her. Oh, uh, yeah, just a heads up. Fate's, Fate's got a lot on her plate today. Isn't that true every day? You'll see what I mean. Just try not to bug her too much. She doesn't need any more stress right now. Okay. Um... Let's finally go do this and talk to Faith. All right, hi chat. Hi chat. <laughs> I can't get her on the stream. <laughs> uh, nope, she's not here. Faith, where are you? Ooh. Do, 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 do. Oh, I mean, we don't have an appointment. This is tied up right now. And by a little, I mean extremely. 
we've just got a personal matter to discuss. It'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge, but if she popped into Faith's office unannounced without checking in at the front desk, it would, wouldn't be the first time. If you'd like to schedule a meeting, though, Faith has a few openings next week. Come on, dude. We have to go through this every time we come here. We're Faith's closest friend. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Fine. Give me a sec. Thank you, chat, for being reasonable. I don't think I'll ever be used to this guardian thing. I miss being able to see Faith more often. I'm amazed she ever gets to leave her office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like to be a highly skilled witch like me or Faith. Uh, your arcane talents are always in high demand. Careful with the adjectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. Damn, only 24? She must be the youngest guardian in Green Ridge history. Second youngest, right? I've heard stories about a time when everyone thought it would be hilarious to write in a baby's name on the ballot, and the baby won! That wasn't that long ago, actually. Wasn't the baby Pepper Leon? <laughs> yeah, it turned out there was no age requirement for write-ins. Pepper was technically guardian for like a day before they called for a do-over. Do-over. See, you guys always blame me for everything, but this town has, was always bonkers long before I moved here. Anyway, Fate's a great guardian, but I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of the paladins to be named Faith. Okay, Miss Vincent, we'll see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just heads up on the head up to the elevator. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ah, Faith, Jody. Oh, thank goodness you're. Oh, she's not with you. Have you not see her, seen her either, Faith? No, don't worry. I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, something is definitely up. Faith, your girlfriend is a founding member of my guild. We need her help right now. If something's up with her, then you've got to tell me. I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about today than your magical hijinks, Claire. Not this time, you don't. Faith, come on. We're your friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Look, I don't know where Jody is, okay? I have no idea where she is and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So unless you got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Other than the dude with the VHS tip for a head who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Green Ridge, we've got nothing. Allison, not now. Allison, I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now really isn't the time for jokes. Hope she's not joking, she's telling the truth. Wait, she is joking, right? I really wish she was, but that did actually happen. Okay, let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters. He told us his name was Jarvis. He was some sort of weird space distorting magic that seems like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Islands, Islands before his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Why didn't you tell me about this immediately? As Guardian, it's absolutely vital that I'm aware of all potential threats to the town. We didn't want to dump responsibility for all this on you. This is our problem and we're taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking around various hornets nests is kind of an adventurous job, but if you've bitten off more than you can chew, you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So, what do you propose we do here? In light of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three in some classified information, provided you keep this between us, of course. Sure, Faith, you can trust us. Sigh. Okay. While out on patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange creatures around the outskirts of town, hiding in the shadows. Red said she had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal wild monsters. No, they seem to be watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we found? Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of the monsters before anything happened, but then we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Jody to keep looking nearby for any signs of monsters, uh, monster activity while the paladins and I stayed in town in case it returned. That was about 3 p.m. yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried calling her? Have you actually checked your phone today? <laughs> Something's interfering with our reception, which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about all these strange uh, happenings. 
Okay, yeah, we were already headed out to the monster territory to investigate Jarvis anyway. Look for Jody out there. Well, if you three feel up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I'd help look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the paladins and I can't abandon our posts right now. Just promise me you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able, okay? I have a very bad feeling about this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened to Jody, let alone all four of you. Oh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. You just got to head north, grab Jody, figure out what Jarvis is up to, and come right back to regroup. Easy peasy. I start looking in the amber woods if I were you. I know how to get there. You know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower, past the shops. Right. Come on, gang. We've got work to do. Find Jody has been added to the quest log. Access the quest log via the menu by... Okay, we know that. All right. And then... Oh, I have a picture of Jody right here. A canister of tennis balls. I didn't know you play tennis, Faith. I do from time to time. Although, I have those for another reason. What other use could you have for tennis balls? I bet she's been teaching Province to play fetch. If you just... If you must know, Jody and I have this problem. I was going to say we've been having problems in bed, but that would set up too many easy jokes for Allison. You know, I love me some low-hanging fruit. Anyway, it's about the giant pointy horn protruding from my forehead. <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'll run the risk of jabbing her with it in my sleep. Oh, so Jody came up with the idea of sticking a tennis ball on my horn to make it less jabby. <laughs> The things people do for love. Honestly, yes. Okay, I want to see what's over here. Is this a little painting? Just some perfectly normal, non-magical art supplies. Hey, this must be an odd question, but I've always wondered. Why don't you use magic to paint? You use it for so much else in your life, and I bet you could do some really impressive art with that. Yeah, totally. You could have ten paintbrushes flying around the canvas at once, or like, animate the painting or something. Oh, I could, but I choose not to. To me, it's not about getting it done faster or even to the end result per se. I just enjoy the process. It feels good to make something. Also, if I'm being honest, if I didn't take a break from magic business every now and then, it would probably drive me crazy. Do you mean super overworked and frazzled crazy? Or my mortal brain has been broken by the dark, dark secrets of cosmos crazy? I'd rather not find out. Hey Faith, what's with these tubes? Oh, that's part of an old pneumatic tube system. These days we only use it for emergency communications. Seems like this would be useful right now with what the phones and internet being down and all. Ooh, yes, it would be, but this only goes to one place and I'm only supposed to use it in extreme emergencies. Can I test it out? I've always loved the sound of these tubes at the bank, that the, at the bank, that those tubes at the bank make. We don't have a drive through bank here. Is that an emergency? I have a special condition where if my brain isn't constantly stimulated by mildly amusing sights and sounds, then I'll die. <laughs> You're too much. Alright, so we have to head east. Past the shops. Okay, let's get this. Hold on, before we leave town, can we stop by Piggly's? Piglities? Piglities real quick? <laughs> I need to tell Beverly I can't make it in, in to work today. No problem, maybe we should grab some food while we're there. Off to Higgly... Higgly... Off to Hig, Higgly... Higgly Pigglydies it is then. That is still a very hard... phrase to say. <clears throat> okay. <gasps> is there a new customer? John G! Skipping work again, huh, Claire? Hey, come on, you know, I'll make the shifts later. I'll make up the shifts later. Yeah, if Beverly thinks we've got things under control, then it's fine. And if the adventuring stuff's going well enough that you don't need the paycheck, then hey, good for you. Just don't think you can bail on us when the next holiday rush rolls in, rolls around. Those summer solstice crowds are gonna be ravenous. Okay, talk to Beverly. Hi, girls! Oh, and Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire! Hey Beverly, I just wanted to stop by and tell you I won't be able to make it into work today. Oh, is everything okay? Everything's fine, we've just got some urgent adventure business to take care of today. Yeah, we're just off to save Greenwich and possibly also Jody's life. Allison! Stop it! <laughs> you know how it is. I don't know what that is actually. But yeah, that's, that's fine Claire. Uh, it's pretty dead here today anyway, Sean and I can handle it. I'll definitely miss having you around though. Huh? Oh yeah, me too. Claire. Oh, hold that thought. Gotta get that 
out of the oven. So when are you gonna cut the crap and ask Beverly out, Claire? <laughs> what? Oh, come on. The little hearts in the dialogue are dead giveaways. And I mean, you obviously like her, right? You always get so much chipper around her. She's just very sweet. It's infectious. See? Oh, Allison, you're so pokey. Pushing people's buttons. Look, it's complicated, okay? Yeah, I like Beverly, but it'd be weird. She's my coworker. I don't want to make it weird. So dating a coworker, coworker would make work weird, but wearing your witch gear while wa waiting in customers and skipping shifts to go fighting monsters doesn't. Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple months back when I was crushing super hot on Allison? That you should just talk to her. Maybe you should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than it is to take it. Listen, I don't even know if Beverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone. That's just how she is 24-7. Besides, we have, um, what we have going right now is nice. We hang out a lot and I don't uh, have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. Oh, okay, but for real, Claire, you'll never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beverly about it. Oh my god, fine. Okay, sorry about that. Now that, now what were you saying? I, um, hope you have a nice day, Beverly. Boy, that sure was a lot of buildup for a perfectly normal statement. <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, a nap in one of the guest rooms, you name it. Oh, okay, I'm take a nap. Can we say hi to this person? Hey, hey, heard you all in a guild now. How come you aren't wearing matching uh, tabards or anything like that? We have our own styles. I tried to get them to do it, but they're stubborn. Uh, I get you. Style's important as an adventure. It's half the job, honestly. Dress for the adventure you want, not the one you're on and all that. <laughs> you know, you remind me of me and my friends when I was younger. We started a guild together, too. Oh, yeah? How'd that go? Uh, well, not good. Deciding to spend that much time together really put a strain on our relationships. I don't regret it, though. Your 20s are all about getting stupid uh, mistakes out of the way so you can make less stupid ones in your 30s. Yeah, you still make a lot of them. I still wear that the tabard, though. I don't really see my old teammates that often, but I wonder if they still have theirs. Oh, Brittany. Oh, uh, but don't worry. I'm sure y'all's you you thing will... Uh, go way better than that. Hmm. Toilet. A nice photo of Beverly. Even on the rare occasions when she's not physically here, she's here in spirit to greet her guests with a smile. That's so cheesy and also probably exactly what Beverly was thinking when she hung that up. Um, hi girls. What can I do you for? All right. So... Beverly, do you mind if I use my employee discount? I'll go right ahead. Oh, also, let me give you a piece of advice. Some food will heal you more if it's something you really, really like. Hmm. That's why you, you don't have HP recovery values listed on the charts. It varies. Gotcha. So when dividing up your rations out in the field or whatever, you should always give everyone their favorites. But I don't know who has favorites. Do I know? Um, okay. Chocolate bar, bar of milk, chocolate. It restores at least 400 HP, all right. But, okay, it doesn't really, I mean, some of them are kind of obvious. Hot fudge sundae. Okay, um, what, 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 what? Okay, so Claire's pretty low right now. I guess I could use a rest and have everyone's stats recover all right oh no that's not what i wanted let's rest at the end okay okay have a nice nap Did that work I hope it worked yes it worked all right so i'm gonna go to the shop and then if there isn't anything else that i need from there then i'll come back and buy some piece of drop item shop I oh, yeah, the shop is fascinating is this what's considered chic here in Green Ridge perhaps I should take notes oh and here's a word of advice to keep in mind while shopping uh, uh, 
Oh yeah, sure, tell us. While buying equipment, you'll see little numbers next to your names with the plus or minus indicating how it compares to your current gear. For weapons, it will show how your attack is affected. For gear, it shows defense. I uh, just like to get stuff that makes the numbers bigger. <laughs> Tried and true tactic. But some equipment may offer up additional bonuses that are more beneficial than the plus one defense shown in that little window. Okay, good to know. Oh, can I say hi to the... Hello? Joy! What would you like? Okay, but what are you? Who are you? Sherry! What can I get you? Okay, so do they offer the same things? Okay. So they have iron, gauntlet, cute little wand. Okay, so they have all this stuff. Okay, I just want to check if they have the same things. Oh, okay. She has weapons. And then this person has potions and stuff. Um. Okay, okay. Antidote cures status. Mm. Let's buy... Four of these. Um, let's buy two of these. I already have a couple of those. All right. So we have 265. Let's just make sure. Okay, we have 11 ether, four potion, two tears of revival, two antidotes. Yes. Easy, enable, oh, 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 no, 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 ah. Enable additional guidance, you'll notice, addition, not necessary, okay. <clears throat> All right, Sherry, what you got? So I can only afford, oh, okay, most of these things so far. Oh, I can sell, can I sell this? How much gold does it give you? Body, I mean, I guess you could wear this as an armor. Yeah. Grand pauldrons. Let's buy. It's, um, iron gauntlets. Supposed to be armor, but it's good for punching too. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay, the bonuses are down there. Damn, t plus 10 for Melody? A big heavy hammer, just a big old hunk of metal for whacking stuff. So heavy that you can't equip the spell book while wielding it. Oh. Training montage band. Okay, everyone gets a plus 6 on that. Sorry, I'm just looking at the bonuses on the bottom where it says inventory, just so that, like, I can see what 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 it gives to each of these characters huh <laughs> zero x bunch it's a charm reduces xp gained by 90 percent useful for party members who are over leveled or for a self-imposed challenge said to enhance your psychic connection to revere's two moons boosting your magic okay a great choice if you plan on playing in some sports or getting a hit in the head repeatedly. Or both! I think I want to get this. A common piece of armor can easily be slipped and on under your clothes so as to not disrupt your aesthetics. Just for defense. Okay. A special training headband. Okay. I only have 40 gold left. That's it. Okay. Okay. It's done. Uh, it's done. I, I hope what I got makes sense and works. I have to equip things. <laughs> I forgot how to game. Melody. Can I do auto equip? Okay. Oh, it gave her both of new things. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, we done did a lot of things. Um, let's just go. No, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> hey.
Hey Rhett, what you doing out here? Just making sure no monsters tried to sneak into town through the hiking trail, standard pallet and stuff. If you're looking for monsters though, I'd head east and check the amber woods. The park's crawling with them t uh, today for some reason. Will do. Oh, also, you wouldn't happen to know who's responsible for the littering around here, would you? Uh-huh, nope, definitely not. You were working here yesterday though, right? Yeah, weird. I don't know. Maybe you should ask Paula about it. Actually, now that you mention it, I haven't seen Paula around all day. Weird. I'll ask uh, her if I see her around, I guess. Is this not East? <laughs> Amber Woods. Um, map. Is there, is there a map? Oh, this is just a treasure map. Oh, I think I could have purchased an actual map. Oh, what is this little thing? Oh, there's some jobs up on the notice board. Let's see, request from Holly, request from Pepper. Need help hanging up notices around the Amber Woods. We'll pay you. Hey, I mean, let's do it. Let's add it to the quest log. Um, from Pepper, looking for help conquering the world. Meet me at Leon Magic. Pepper wants help conquering the world, huh? I guess there's no harm in seeing what she wants. I guess. <laughs> we accepted all the quests on the notice board for now. All right. Let's save since we did a lot. I'll just do a file two for now. Let's talk to Pepper. Hi, Pepper. We saw your request on the notice board. Ah, uh, excellent. You'll be perfect for the job. There's something I want in the Amber Woods. Oh, good. Okay. Getting it uh, is the first step on my path to total world domination. Uh-huh. I'd get it myself, but I'm uh, not allowed in the park after what happened last time. How do you know we can find this thing in the park? I have my sources. I can't tell you what the thing is. Oh, excuse me. But you'll know it when you see it. Oh, and it's in a locked chest. You'll need this key. Oh! Uh, well, okay, I guess. We'll keep an eye out for this item of ultimate power while you were in the Amber Woods. Thank you! You'll be rewarded handsomely, and I'll also be sure to give you special privileges when I rule the world. Pepper's Machinations has been updated in the quest log. Okay. All right, so we played for about 45 minutes. Um, I know, no action, but we're going to, we're gonna save here again. All right, well, thank you for watching and um, we're gonna start the next episode right away. So hopefully you can stick around and watch it. But if not, we'll catch you next time. Um, thanks again for your support. Bye.